it's Nadia from Northern Imaginings and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my encaustic wax bookmarks which I am currently giving away free on my website for every order of original art purchased in the month of June. So stick around to see how I make them. These are a couple of recent paintings I did, uh, the One Colour Challenge. I am really quite happy with some of them, but these ones here I'm not quite so happy with. And in fact, the design of them with the single tree going up one side is actually just perfect for what I have in mind. I may go into these ones a bit more and embellish them, but for now I am going to just cut into these ones. That's perfect! Um, do that one? Or that one? Look what it thinks of. Okay, good reader. A totally different picture! I want to include a bit more of the leaves of this tree, so I'm maybe going to cut it a bit closer on that side. Maybe quite a centimetre. And then make that four. This, but not least we'll get this little guy. These are a little wider than the previous ones I was doing. Oh, that tree! It's so cute! And I'm going to do the same with this one. Cut it in a little. So here we've got four nice new bookmarks and I am just going to seal them with some sealer. You can use wax sealer but I find that PVA works just as well. And I'll just do, I think for the last time I did like two coats on either side just to make sure they were perfectly sealed. What do I do with the offcuts? These are not really good enough to turn into bookmarks. I could make that one a bookmark, but that's a bit bland. Could make that one a bookmark, it's also a bit bland. Instead, I'm going to maybe just rearrange the pieces and see if we can make a whole other picture out of them. <laughs> that would be quite funky. I mean, you can see they go together. You can see they go together. You can see they go together. I could just mess around with these, mix them up a bit, stick them on a piece of paper, and then, ooh, then I could even apply the iron on top. Stick around um, and subscribe if you would like to see that in a future video. 
these bookmarks are now totally dry and you can see they've got a nice matte finish and all the details show up really nicely. So now I'm just going to turn them over and seal the back. Placing them on top of this plastic just means that they don't stick and get damaged at all. So I'm just going to do the back now. So now that the backs are dry, I'm just going to turn them over and do the last final layer on the front just to prevent any bending. You can see what's going on here. And just to cover up any blemishes that might have been from the first layer as well. Like a few of them there. Right, let's go. And so here we have our finished bookmarks. I am really happy with how these turned out. I'm going to be adding them to my uh, website or rather I'm going to be adding them to the giveaway that I'm doing if you purchase any piece of original artwork in the month of June. So grab yourself some free original art bookmarks and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!